everyone. I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's class, we will define one of the very important concept of group theory that is quotients. This is a very important part of group theory and many important questions are coming from this topic in your university as well as entrance exams. So, before giving the formal definition of the term quotient, we will start with the basic ideology or basic concept behind this topic suppose you have g is a group and h is a subgroup of g you know there are so many properties of subgroup if a group g is abelian h is abelian if a group g is cyclic then h is cyclic and what are the conditions from which we can prove that h is a subgroup of g now we will define a relation which establishes between an element of g any element of g and h how see h is a group and we define a set h a which means elements of the type h a such that h belongs to h and a h such that um, a is getting multiplied with h from left hand side here h a means element a is getting multiplied with h from right hand side and a h means an element a is getting multiplied with h from left side then if you have suppose h is equal to h1 h2 and so on then h a is equal to h1 a h2 a and so on and a h is equal to a h1 a h2 and so on then h a is called right quotient of h in g and this is called left quotient of h in g and this is called left quotient of h in g most of the time we discuss whenever we are doing any kind of proof result or property by default we are using it without loss of generality it is a multiplicative group only but in case you have additive group then your right quotient is denoted by h plus a where a is getting added to h from right hand side and it is something like this h1 plus a h2 plus a h3 plus a and so on and for left quotient in additive group you have h is getting added a is getting added to h from left hand side so this is a plus h1 a plus h2 a plus h3 and so on in case of additive group this is your right quotient and in case of multi in case of additive group this is your left quotient now you can clearly see that both your right quotient and left quotient are subsets of g that is h a contained in equal to g and a h contained in equal to g you can easily see that since h i belongs to h for all i therefore h i a belongs to sorry h i belongs to h contained in equal to g because h is a subset of g therefore h i belongs to g for all i also a belongs to g therefore by closure property h i a belongs to g for all i therefore h a contained in equal to g similarly a h is also a subset of g there are so many related topic uh, there are so many properties related to quotients that i am going to discuss well while i when i well i'll do the properties of quotients before that i'll explain some examples also related to that topic in this video explanation part is done now i am going to give you the formal definition of quotients let h be a subgroup of g and let a belongs to g then we define h a 
and AH as follows. HA is equal to HA such that H belongs to H and AH is equal to AH such that H belongs to H. Thus, if H is equal to H1, H2 and so on, then you have H A is equal to H1 A, H2 A and so on and A H is equal to A H1, A H2 and so on. H A is called right coset of H in G and A H is called left coset of H in G. This was the case of multiplicative group because whenever we are doing any kind of proof in group theory, without loss of generality, we are taking this group as a multiplicative group only. But in case you have the group is additive group, in case of additive group, In case of additive group, the cosets are denoted by H plus A and A plus H. Now, this was the enough about the cosets. Many authors write the term cosets as cosets also. But in majority, the term cosets is widely used term. And the term cosets is rarely used term. In the next video, I, I will explain some of the few very important examples that I am giving while doing any kind of topic in group theory. That I will explain the cosets of some very important sets like set Z of integers, Klein's 4 group, permutation group, etc. And... On that next video, after that examples of video, we are going to discuss some very important properties of cosets. Same video is available in Hindi language also. If you like the video, then don't forget to hit the like button. And in future, if you want to see the higher mathematics videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe for my channel. Thank you so much for watching this.